Uh, hi guys uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to generate a UUID uh, first uh, why do we need UUID in the first place uh, actually we need a UID UUID uh, first UUID stands for universal unique uh, identifier uh, we need U UUID because, uh, for example, we are working on distributed systems. For example, in server one, we have a uh, we have a database. Uh, let's say, let's say we have an application. Uh, we call the application "Hello World," right? Let's say, for example, on the then this hello world application it has a database in server we deploy it in server one uh, with a, a unique id let's say uh, the the primary key is uh, uh, integer so when we insert data in this uh, hello world application it will insert to the uh, to its d database let's say the unique id is uh, one then uh, in another uh, instance another server which is the same application same da uh, same database but uh, deployed in another server we call it server two and let's say they do some transaction again in again uh, same uh, another transaction and let's say we insert another record and the record is could be it could be one again because the primary though it can it can be uh, though the primary key is unique but it can be unique only to that specific server not universally so that's the reason why we need a universal uh, unique identifier so when we uh, uh, make a transaction we, we can make sure that the unique ID is a uh, uh, unique not only to that particular server but across uh, uh, different servers so that's why we did a universal unique identifier so now uh, let me show you how to create it in uh, create it in uh, Unix uh, environment in Uni uh, Linux environment uh, you can just uh, use this bio this uh, variable UUID gen this is predefined in all Unix uh, Linux environment let me try it let's say let me, let me display this environment uh, let me just display this uh, environment variable UUID I think it should be like this UUID I believe this is a uh, 128 uh, bits, which is equivalent to 16 uh, bytes. So it's quite huge right, for a primary ID. So if you use this kind of primary ID, uh, it will affect the performance. So we, we must uh, use this carefully if we are if we think we uh, we do not need uh, to be unique I mean we are not working in several servers and we are sh uh, we we only need to we only need a primary key or unique ID in a particular server then I don't think we we should uh, use this kind of primary key because it will affect the performance because of the size 
but again if we are working on uh, distributed system I think it's is uh, we have no choice right we have to implement this for Java uh, we have another class called UUID also we can call that class to generate the generate a that UUID let me show you how to do it Plus U U I D random ID. That's all. Let me show it. was not captured in the ah. there you go you can see right so this is the output And a DB, let me show it to you. I think there is a for Postgre. I think uh, there is also a type data type which is UUID. I think we can uh, use that also. Anyway, uh, in Postgre, I believe there is a a a column UUID. Let me try if we can use it. For example, this one. Yeah. 
you run this so as you can see that syntax is the variable then the data type and whether it's null or not null right so you can put here not null so variable which is id then the data type uuid okay let me run this So now, uh, we, the table is test UUID. We will press our table. So as you can see, the table is created. Uh, test UUID. So there we go. This is the column UUID. So other, the other column, the type is integer. But I want to create this as UUID. So I think that's all guys. Thank you for watching this video and hope to see you again in my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.